I'm Gab, a budding biologist and environmental scientist. Before I worked in a non-governmental organization, I've read about reports from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources about Central Cebu Protected Landscape. I was impressed of how they came up with these reports on the conservation status in the protected landscape. There were rediscoveries of extinct species as well as discoveries of new species. However, are these native species really protected in the area? When I started to work in a non-governmental organization, I was awakened by the harsh realities the protected landscape is facing nowadays. I was saddened by the lack of knowledge about biodiversity of the local people in the area, which is the reason why a series of cascading problems occur in the area. One of the problems is charcoal making, which involves massive cutting of trees. This displaces native animal species of its habitat. The domination of invasive species like mahogany is another problem since this tree species inhibits native plants to grow. Now, these mahogany monocultured forestlands are considered a biologically dead zone simply because there is less diversity of flora and fauna. Even with these problems in the protected landscape, it's not too late to bring back diversity in the forest with the right environmental management practice. The project where I'm currently working on is just beginning. Its main objective is to improve long-term sustainability in the protected area, protecting and conserving its unique biodiversity and water supply. It aims to improve management and protection, as well as to improve education materials for the locals to have a better understanding of the protected area. With this, I hope that all of us are able to achieve a conscience about biodiversity. Lupa, la. Oh,